All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of my 2014 Subaru WRX Hatchback Standard Edition. We'll start from the front and go towards the back. Starting from the front, we have a Grim Speed Relocator Kit for the license plate. It took about five to ten minutes to install. Pop off the tow hook cover, pull it out, unscrew. I mean, don't unscrew. Screw everything in, and that's about it. Then installed fog lights. These took about maybe 45 minutes. Pretty easy. Going to get a license plate delete soon. Car is pretty dirty. Haven't cleaned it in a while. So that's it for the front. Moving on to the side. We have the stock rims, but they are plastic dipped lime green. As you can see, let's get it in focus. They get pretty dusty or they show the dirt pretty well. Look at that. That's just like four days of driving. The dust brake collects pretty well on the back tires. I'll show you. But this is five coats of Plasti Dip. Moving on, we have Rally Armor mud flaps. These took about 45 minutes to install. Just helps protect the paint. Plasti Dip took about six hours because you have to let them dry for a while, 30 minutes in between. Moving on, this is just fake carbon fiber vinyl that I install for fun. Nothing special about it. I'll show you the back wheels where all the, the dirt likes to collect up. As you can see, it loves to collect in the corners, so you gotta be careful about that. Sonax. You just spray it on, doesn't kill the plastic dip at all. Um, mud flaps back here. I have some tail light overlays, professionally installed by Vinyl Styles. That took about an hour, um, $140. I tried to install them, but this part was hard. I'm telling you, not fun. They also installed this one right here. Debatched the car, left the WRX on, took off the Impreza, and took off the all-wheel drive and Subaru, or Subaru all-wheel drive. Coming down to the bottom of the car is the NVIDIA N1 Street Exhaust with extended 12mm hangers. It comes with a silencer, ordered it from Rally Sport Direct, no sorry, ordered it from SD Motorworks along with my mud flaps, they do free shipping on anything over $150. Comes with a silencer, haven't used it yet, but it's loud. Uh, I suggest getting the extended hanger so you do not burn your diffuser. Basically, this side of the car is the exact same. Let's go to the top of the car where we have the factory OEM roof racks with a I know wind fairing. These are very simple to install. Comes with all the tools you need. You pop this open. There's a screw in here, you unscrew this, this panel will come off. And then there's another screw in here that you just untwist. So, installs maybe five minutes. The roof rack right now has California Grown Sticker, GoPro, Grim Suite, and NVIDIA. And that's it. Let's go ahead and look inside the car right now. So like I said, this is the standard. So no leather seats, no heat seat warmers. If there were the seat warmers, they'd be right there. Inside the car, there's nothing special. I just have a cob shift knob. I also had this one. It's a, can't get in focus right now. It's a Skunk 2. It sucks in the heat and in the cold because it gets very hot and very cold. Another thing I have in the car is an Escort Redline radar detector. Saves your life pretty much a lot. That made no sense at all, but it saves your life from tickets and such. Picks up KA band from far away. Laser, if they hit you, usually you're done for because laser's instant. Um, also have a extended mirror. This one magnifies the stuff in the rear bar too, so it gets a little bit to get used to. 
because the cars look a lot closer than they actually are. Dangling back there is a minion that my girlfriend got for me for Christmas, just because we like the movie. I guess you can say it's a G-Force meter because you can see it when you take turns pretty tight. Currently, the car has... Let's see. It has, let's zoom in. Huh, I don't get why it's not showing up on the camera, but you can see it in person. It has 1,529 miles exactly. Um, so I just filled up the tank. So it says I'm averaging 21.3 miles per gallon. Usually I get around 20, because I do mostly city driving, a little bit of highway. Also, one thing I keep is a gas log. It's not necessary, but I just thought I'd try for a while before I get tired of it. I have the receipts, write down the date, the mileage, round trip, gallons, and total cost. So basically that's it. Now, like I said, I have the NVIDIA N1 exhaust. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on the tripod, start it up so we can hear it just for a little. Um, before I do the exhaust, one thing I wanted to say about the interior. I'm sure everyone knows, but I'll just go through it right here. You have your interior lights. Turn them all the way down. You can barely even see them. Turn them up. There you go. You also have your mirror controls. Adjust your left, adjust your right. Your traction control. Right here, you pull this down. You can get all your wires and stuff. Here is trunk. And then under... Oh, no, sorry. Under here is the hood. There's no trunk. I forgot about that. Here's the gas. I've had this car for about five weeks. One thing I must say is the Bluetooth, horrible. So if you're ever gonna upgrade your head unit, I get another external microphone and use that instead. Everyone says the stereo is not great, but I would say for daily driving, it's bearable. I mean, there's some songs if you have a lot of bass, then the noise will start getting pretty distorted here. I'll turn on a song real quick. that has a lot of bass and we can hear it. I have the aftermarket subwoofer that came with the car. So I'll turn the bass all the way up to 8. I'll show the mirror because you can see this rattling. Oh, you can't, but... Pretty loud. Pretty positive my neighbors right now don't like me. So we'll go ahead and start up the NVIDIA N1 exhaust. So I got the silencer installed, took about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna fire it up, see how it sounds that way. I haven't done it, so let's see. Okay, 